Here's a side story. I mean, this just came out today in the Daily News in New York. It's phenomenal. You ready for this? Legendary Jewish gangster Harold K.O. Konigsberg has been sprung from an upstate prison in a surprise parole decision that will allow him to live out his final days in a posh-gated community in Florida, the Daily News has learned. The still-remorseless 86-year-old mob hitman was quietly released in June from the maximum security Mohawk prison where he spent nearly five decades, that's 50 years for those of you who don't speak English, for a gangland murder. He might have died behind bars after being sentenced to 20 years to life for the 1961 contract killing of Teamsters big Anthony Three Fingers Castellito on orders from union rival Anthony Tony Pro Provenzano. The hitman Konigsberg, suspected by the feds in as many as 20 other mid-20th century mob hits, used the Venetian blind cord to strangle Castellito in the kitchen of the dead man's upstate vacation home. His body was buried in New Jersey but never found. Retired NYPD detective and veteran mob buster Joseph Coffey said it's a disgrace that Konigsberg is free. He was a nasty BS, and he should have gotten the electric chair. I knew him well, and he was the worst of the worst, Coffey said. He enjoyed killing and enjoyed getting paid for it. Jenny Castellito was just 13 when her dad was killed. Uh, well, I, why well, I go into this? The man's in jail for 50 years, and vicious mob killer Harold Konigsberg has been released from jail to move to sunny Florida after serving 49 years in prison. It's pretty interesting. The octogenarian showed not a whiff of regret or sorrow at the April parole hearing. I'd hate to run into this guy uh, at a buffet line, I'll tell you that, in Florida. I mean, he may be 86 or whatever he is, but what if you run into this guy at a Chinese buffet somewhere in Boca Raton, and let's say your finger dots to the, um, to the dim sum ahead of him. I mean, he's liable to grab a Venetian blind cord and put your life out. He could grab a chopstick and, and jam it into your eye or your ear. You know, these guys don't change, you know. I don't care how many years they're in prison. Unbelievable. The daughter, Castellito, lives in Florida, said she was not notified of the New York Division of Parole about Konigsberg's release and was never given the chance to offer a victim impact statement. She said she's outraged that Konigsberg is now living about 130 miles away. Oh, she knows where he's living? I'd like to know where he lives. I don't want to go to any buffets in the area of Konigsberg because they could be pretty mean, those uh, oldsters in Florida. Pretty shocking, truthfully. What's this cheesecake picture? Comely Marilyn Fraser was linked to jail killer Konigsberg for what was described back then as a moral purposes. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. There was no way he could break me, Konigberg said. The tough guy said at a 2008 hearing, the Nazis, the Germans, those people that were not hanged at Nuremberg didn't do 20 years a year, Antit. Kofi said it was very unusual for the mafia to use non-Italians to do their hits. But Konigsberg was an exception because of his ruthlessness. Konigsberg insisted to the parole board that he was not insane, but Kofi recalled that the hoodlum represented himself at an extortion trial in Manhattan Supreme Court and claimed he was crazy. He sat in a wheelchair and defecated in his pants right in front of the judge, Coffey said. I was, <laughs> I was there, and he grossed out everyone and cleared, the court <laughs> and cleared the courtroom, but he was convicted anyway. I remember it like it was. <laughs> you know, you got to see. I think Henry Miller had the closest, was closest to the truth of any writer I've ever read, the Bible included. I think Henry Miller was closer when he said it's all a cosmic joke. <laughs> the older I get. The older I get and the more I see the Brutuses of the world and the liars wrapping themselves in conservative cloth or fake religious cults, the more I know that it's all a cosmic joke. Almost everybody that you listen to, myself not included, is, is lying to you. Almost everybody is lying to you about everything. So where do you turn? I don't know. You turn to a sense of humor. I always had a great sense of humor. It, it got me through an awful lot in my life. And frankly, I'm still laughing sometimes. Not all the time. I mean, you're an idiot if you laugh all the time, but... There are funny things. Sex and the jailed hood. K.O. Konigsberg, alleged beneficiary. Blah, blah, blah. Jail attentions. Good stuff. The Daily News used to be a very fun newspaper. There was no answer Wednesday at the pink stucco waterfront home Konigsberg now shares with his daughter, Edie. Oh, here in Western Florida. I got it. Western Florida. Make a note. Western Florida, do not go to any buffets in Western Florida because the hitman's liable to be there. And don't be deceived that he's 80-something years old. You know, he strangled somebody with a cord. That's what we know about. He could pick up a, cho a chopstick and put it in your eye or your ear over a knish. 
Uh, an ashtray and a table outside the house, which is valued at $750,000, held three cigarette butts and a cigar. A housekeeper who said she just returned with a repaired pair of pants for Konigsberg declined to comment. It's very interesting if you like this kind of stuff. I like I, I, re, I read these stories with a certain degree of uh, interest because I don't think this has gone away. Frankly, I think that, uh, I, let me put it in a delicate manner. Um, I don't think it's part of the colorful uh, last mid-century uh, time period in America. Let's put it to you that way. Let's put it to you another way. Al Capone was headquartered in which city? I'll give you three choices. New York, Atlanta, or Chicago? Answer C. Yeah. Therefore, as I say to you, I think there are many Konigsbergs out there, but they're not using Venetian blind cords anymore. I'll be right back. Saturday. 